In learning target 10, we're graphing logarithms just like we graphed exponential functions. And so we're going to rewrite them as exponential function in order to graph them. So you can see how they're related. Okay? So for the very first one, we've got two examples today. So the very first one, we have y equals log base one half of x. So if I want to rewrite that as an exponential, you start at the base, you circle around to the equal sign. So we have one half to the y power equals x. Just like in learning target set. Now normally when we have an equation, we have x, we have y equals on x equals. Um, it's easier to just go ahead, at this point, we can just input y values into the equation, and then we get an x value out, right? Because it has y, one half to the y. If we do that, then we're going to get coordinate. They're just going to be backwards. Okay, so just like any other table we've ever made, we're just going to do a little bit different. We're going to do y and then x. You can pick whatever values you want to to put in for y. Again, because exponentials and logs are inverses of each other. So, if I do one half to the negative second power, what do you get? You'd have to flip that, so you'd have two to the second, so you'd have four. So if I wanted to graph that point, it's just backwards because the x came second. So this is the point four, negative two. So you graph that. Right, so make sure you just keep track that it's backwards. If I do one half to the negative first power, well, you'd flip, get the reciprocal to get positive one, so you'd have two to the first, which is two. So you'd have two, negative one. And you keep going, so if one half to the zero power, that's one. One half to the first, that's one half. One half to the second, that's one fourth. Any questions about what I just did? So if I'm going to graph this, keep in mind, if we kept going with our y values, so I had 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yada, yada, we'd have 1 half to some power, so we keep getting some fraction, right? We're never going to get any number It's not a fraction if we keep going. So because of that, this is never going to cross the y-axis. So if you think about it, with the exponential curves, you always had some horizontal asymptote they didn't cross. With our logarithmic functions, we're going to have some vertical asymptote they don't cross. Okay? Any questions, though, about the first example? Pretty straightforward. Rewrite it and put some values for y. Question. All right, on the second one, I'm going to change this. So it's here, 1 half log base 4, 6. All right. On this one, we need to do some work first. Because we don't have just a log. We have one half times a log. So how can I rewrite that? Exactly. Make sure the one half power. So if y is greater than or equal to log 4x to the one half power. And it's using those log properties. We still need to rewrite it, though. So you start the base, circle past the equal sign to the end. So we have 4 to the y power is greater than or equal to x to the 1 half. So it's a little more complicated. So this time, I'm still going to input y values. But I have 4y is greater than or equal to, so we can just say, if you want to think about it, it's equal to for now, 4y is equal to x to the 1 half. 
So whenever I put in a value for y, I'm going to get x to the 1 half. I'm not getting x yet. Okay, so 4 to the negative second is what? 1 16th. 4 to the negative first. 1 fourth, just using excellent rules. 4 to the 0 is 1. 4 to the first is 4. 4 squared is 16, right? Again, that's not x. That's x to the 1 half power. Everyone with me? So if I want to get x, because I need an x value to graph the point, not x to 1 half power. If I have x to 1 half or the square root of x, how do I make that into just x? What do I do? You square it, right? If I have x to 1 half and I just want x, you square the value. If I squared this, I would just get x. So I need to take all of these values in this column and square them to get whatever the x value actually is. So 1 16th squared is 1 over 256. 1 4th squared is 1 over 16. 1 squared is 1. 4 squared is 16. 16 squared is 256. So the same thing as I did on the last one. I rewrote it first. I input values for y. But this time my equation didn't say just equals x. It said equals x to some power. So I got whatever that value was, and then I had to undo that power so I could get the x value, so I can have points on the graph. What questions do we have about that? Then I'm just going to graph all these points. So 1 over 256, negative 2. So it's really, really close to 0. 1 16th, negative 1. 1, 0. 16, 1 is somewhere way out here, right? Is this inequality supposed to be dotted or solid? Solid. Make sure you're paying attention to that. We're never going to cross the y-axis on this one because we keep getting those fractional values every time you put a new value in for y. Any questions about that? Well, then we need to know where to shade. So let's use a test point. So here was our exponential we used. So if we're going to use 0, 0, we put 0, 0 in for y and x. So is 4 to the 0 power greater than or equal to 0 to the 1 half? What's 4 to the 0 power? 1. So is 1 greater than or equal to 0? Yes. So we're going to shade where the 0, 0 is. Now, keep this in mind. You have this horizontal asymptote, sorry, vertical asymptote at the y-axis, right? You have no values that are going to be over here. Does that make sense? So when you're shading, we're shading above, right? You have to shade on this side. You're not supposed to shade past the y-axis because we shouldn't ever pass the y-axis. If you don't want to use a test point, you don't have to. It says greater than or equal to, so that seems kind of obvious. If you forget that and you shade everywhere, I'm fine. I'm not going to get mad at you, but you'll see in my notes for all the inequalities, we know where the asymptote is, so we want to make sure we shade to that. Any questions?